Timu, a popular e-commerce platform, has recently been the subject of criticism from the European Consumer Organization BUC and 17 of its member groups. The organizations have accused Timu of violating the rules set out in the Digital Services Act DSA and have urged the European Union EU to designate the platform as a very large online platform, the LOP in order to enforce compliance. The complaint submitted by BUC alleges that Timu does not provide its users with a safe, predictable, and trustworthy online environment, as required by law. Specifically, the organization has raised concerns about the platform's use of gamification features, which it believes may be misleading or manipulative. Additionally, BUC has criticized Timu for offering misleading products and for its overall lack of transparency regarding its business operations. This is not the first time that an e-commerce platform has faced criticism from BUC. Last month, the organization successfully lobbied for the U to designate Shine, another popular online retailer, as a VLOP. The move allowed the U to enforce stricter regulations on the platform and to ensure that it was operating in compliance with the DSA. The criticism of Timu comes at a time when the U is increasingly focused on regulating the digital economy and ensuring that online platforms are held accountable for their actions. The DSA, which was introduced in 2020, is a key part of this effort and sets out a range of rules and regulations that online platforms must follow in order to operate within the U. As the EU continues to crack down on non-compliant platforms, it is likely that we will see more e-commerce retailers facing scrutiny in the coming months. It is therefore essential that these platforms take steps to ensure that they are operating in compliance with the DSA and that they are providing their users with a safe and trustworthy online environment.